product purchasing experience are segregated. What if we seamlessly put them together and have a product that bridges this gap? So, price clerk answers this question. We'll have Window demo our product. Yeah, thank you, thank you, Ray. So, um, let's, let's, so um, let's do this. All right. So basically, um, as Ray said, we want to make uh, online shopping uh, on this dress, for instance, right now, seamless, easy, and beautiful. Right now, there are a bunch of extra steps from purchase something. You have to click on it, you may pin the image, uh, go on the merchant's website, look for the product, look for the details. It's a really painful process. So the idea we had is that we need to make something easy with a Chrome extension that sits really nicely in, inside of your uh, browser, and that as you browse, without you having to do anything, just parse this information on products uh, that can be displayed on the page, and um, show them to you nicely formatted. Um, so it's really a way, I really insist on the fact that you don't have to do anything, um, you just have to browse. So basically, here we can see like there is some cool stuff, like an inflatable water park, and in one click, you can just go back straight to the merchant, find the product, purchase it, so it's really a seamless process. And I have to, it's, it works like across all the, these websites, so it's pretty, it's pretty decent so far. We spent a fair amount of time uh, building a solid, robust, natural language processing algorithm to parse information and bring it. And um, so it's really a way to purchase on Pinterest really easily. So there are two points I'd like to mention about this product. Uh, first, it's not relying on any social books uh, to bring value to the user. It's really in the value is within the technology we built. So straight away as we install the product, it brings value to you. You can find products uh, pretty easily. And um, so the point is that for now we are focused on Pinterest, but we are seeking potentially opening this technology to other platforms and bring it to the web in general. Thank you. And uh, so, so what is the market? So the market for Pinterest is 11 million unique users a month. And Pinterest also refers about 0.85% of all internet traffic. So this is huge. Imagine just, I mean, just capturing a small slice of that traffic with affiliate links and it will be huge. That's for so what is our business model? It's very simple. You see our sidebar there, and on the links, we'll have affiliate links on our sidebar, which the user clicks through. Affiliate percentage ranges from 3% to 20%. An example vendor will be Amazon, which at the, its highest tier offers about 8.5%. So imagine a Pinterest user who just bought a $100 dress on Amazon through your link. You would just made $8.5. Now scale that by 11 million and you have a good business. So user acquisition ideas. One, we're gonna have a viral campaign on Pinterest. We'll allow the users to repaint our app and try to get, get on the top popular subcategories. Two is our app is a Chrome extension. So we had experience with uh, Chrome store extension marketing. Um, in fact, uh, we had, we made an app get over 15,000 users, so it's definitely easy to get users there. Thanks. Market validation. 47 Pinterest users were interviewed over the weekend, and the most interesting stat is 68% reported having frequency purchasing wishes while browsing Pinterest. And some nice words from our early users, we've been waiting for this product for so long, and shut up and take my money. And this product is also live. Uh, visit pricecode.co and download our Chrome app extension. Thank you. <laughs>